Hello AI enthusiasts far and wide and welcome back to the Matt Video Productions channel. Today you guys are in for an absolute treat. We are going to be looking at the absolute future of free to use incredible AI technology and in my opinion at least an incredibly efficient text to image bot. So let's go over the future of text to image AI. We're starting here at this data set. Simulacra Aesthetic Captions is a data set of over 238,000 synthetic images generated with AI models such as CompViz, Latin Glide, and Stable Diffusion. Stable Diffusion is the important one here. From over 40,000 user submitted prompts, the images are rated on their aesthetic value, how good they look, how pleasing to the eye they are. This creates caption image and rating triplets. On top of this, each user agreed to release their prompts, outputs, and ratings completely under the public domain, free. The result here is a high quality, royalty free data set with over 176,000 thousand ratings that can be used for projects such as filtering data sets, generative models, training a prompt generator, extracting vitamin phrases. These are popular text to image AI phrases and alignment research. I promise you guys I'm not trying to bore you with complexities. This is all very important. By the way, all the stuff you see in today's video will be linked in the description. So, Stable Diffusion, which a lot of you viewers who are in my Discord server probably already know about. By the way, link to my Discord server down in the description. We talk about a lot of cutting edge AI stuff on there. Stable Diffusion is a part of the latest AI image models by Stability AI, and you can sign up for the beta, similar-ish to Dolly 2, but much more open, will be linked down in the description below. I've already signed up, but in today's video, we're actually going to be looking at an AI that already uses Stable Diffusion, so I kind of already have access to it. Stable Diffusion is created by Stability AI, and Stability AI is a truly open AI company. AI by the people, for the people. Again, here's the Stability diffusion beta you can sign up for really incredible images as you can see Barack Obama's just right in there they ain't holding back some of you guys more inversed in the AI community might recognize a few of these and coming soon imagine AI which I believe uses stable diffusion and is going to be fully open sourced which means anyone can download and use it and create and mess with this AI which means really good free AI for the entire public so basically stability AI is this company similar to open AI that creates all this AI AI technology, except it's all like open sourced and non-profit and really for the people. And that technology is going to be used in this data set I opened up with, with this new AI text to image model, which you can see right here. Here's some examples of people using it. And I actually have access to this bot and today I'm going to be showing you guys just what it can get up to. So this AI is available through Discord, similar through Midjourney. It's really still in its early stages but I was told at this point I was allowed to make a video on it. There are a few rules. No, no safe for work stuff. I'm looking at you, Reddit. No copyrighted content. This means trying to generate images of like a Disney princess or something like that. No hateful content. I mean, that's obvious. And no personal info. I mean, do you really want to be putting your personal info out there anyways? Famous people seem to be allowed though so far. We've got a lot of Snoop Dogg here. Snoop Dogg smoking with Albert Einstein. This is like Snoop Dogg Albert Einstein that it generated here. As you guys can see already though, the model really follows this aesthetics type of thing, which is sort of the whole point. And again, the data set for this is actually quite small, but the ratings increase the efficiency by tenfold. I mean, that's not an exact number, don't quote me, but it does increase quite a bit. So you'll see there's actually quite a lot of coherency with this model as well as beautiful aesthetics. So this is Origami Godzilla destroys Origami Tokyo. We got a pretty nice Origami Godzilla. This is just a portrait of Albert Einstein, almost photorealistic here. This is like obviously some image of a panther. It was a very, very long prompt, but look at how great that turned out. This is already proving that these new technologies that are coming out, especially open source ones, are going to be super beneficial. And to compete with this stuff in the future, Dolly 2 is going to have to kick it into high gear. They're going to need to restructure their pricing for sure after looking at this AI. And as you can see, it still has a few stock images in there, but doesn't every text to image AI. Here's a little dongly. But yeah, this AI is very powerful already. And I'd like to point out that it's consistently changing like almost week to week with new various bots coming out. So all of this is subject to change. This is early access stuff. Very, very early access stuff. It's already very impressive though. And most definitely competes with mid journey, if not dollar too sometimes. These frogs ain't no joke. Well, how about we give this thing a shot for ourselves? So this bot's been through different iterations. You used to be able to rate images. 
However, right now with just this dream bot, we can do exclamation point dream, and then we type our prompt in. You true subscribers already know what I'm going to type. So what we do is we submit the, the prompt, ninartbot2, which is the current bot, quickly gives us an image. This was 3D render, octane render, Pixar still, lemon character, wearing sunglasses, relaxing on the beach, the classic. And as we can see, that is a pretty decent image. These are either 512 by 512 or 756 by 756, something like that. But yeah, we got palm trees in the background, water, the beach, a nice shadow. I mean, there's two lemon characters and it's not super coherent yet, but this is a very aesthetically pleasing image. And certainly, honestly, very competitive with Midjourney. Midjourney's not really even this coherent or aesthetically pleasing at times, although Midjourney's got its own special quirks that people really enjoy. But yeah, that's a that's a good image. You know, that's no joke. Let's see what Dolly will give us. Now, of course, it shouldn't really be that surprising. Dolly is going to give us a pretty darn decent image, aesthetically pleasing, very coherent. However, though, when you think about it, like this is a great image and all. But folks, honestly, how far off is this image from this really? It really seems like it's just a little bit of coherency that it's missing. That's really it. And in a year's time, is Dolly 2 with its paid model going to really be able to keep up with something free that could generate this. Not that Simulacrobot is going to be free by any means. I don't know anything about pricing yet, but it does use open source stuff. So it is possible that someone could create a free model with ads that could generate something that good or better in, you know, a, a year or two's time. Let's try to go for something like completely photorealistic nature photograph of a frog. Right now, this bot is really quick too, by the way. So here's our nature photograph of a frog. I mean, it's definitely a frog. That's for sure. It's pretty pretty darn photorealistic. If you didn't know better, this could be a photo. I mean, it just doesn't have the frog perfectly centered. But here's the beauty of it. We'll just rerun the prompt. And here we've got something maybe a little bit closer, not extremely coherent, but could Midjourney have produced this? That's what I want you guys to remember to ask yourself. Although Midjourney is getting some very good updates in the future, if you see my video a few days ago, but in its current state, let's try a quick oil painting. Okay, this is interesting. This was our result. We definitely actually had an oil painting of mountains overlooking the sunset. However, the whole thing takes place in someone's house. That is an oil painting in someone's house, so you can sort of see what it was picking up on. Nevertheless, this is a very coherent and beautiful image, which is sort of the point of Simulacrobot. Very aesthetically pleasing images. Let's try a quick character concept. We did get an error here, but again, this is very early access to this bot. We just rerun the prompt. There we go. We actually did get a pretty decent uh, character concept for an orangutan. That's not too bad. There is a little logo up here in the corner, which they would not be a fan of, the, the creators of this, that is. This is the type of stuff they really want to remove from the data set, understandably. But yeah, this is like a gentleman orangutan, which was the prompt. Character concept trending on art station. Very coherent and very nice image. Competitive with Dolly too, yet again. If this image was a little bit higher resolution and there are completely free upscalers to use, I would be like, yeah, that could be Dolly too. Let's try something that it should have a ton of data on no matter what. Most AIs can probably generate a decent golden retriever. So my golden retriever prompts seem to be stuck in limbo at the moment. Oh, here we go. We got one in a different channel. Now that's a nice photo of a golden retriever. If I didn't know any better, I could be tricked into thinking that was a real photo of a golden retriever. Simple as that. Looking at some other creations, Jeff Bezos in Grand Theft Auto 5, cover art by Stefan Bliss, art station. And I gotta say, if you've ever seen the cover art for Grand Theft Auto, that looks very accurate actually, and it's really funny to imagine it. Jeff Bezos in Grand Theft Auto 5. We've also got more golden retrievers. Someone generated a golden retriever in the woods on a rock. We've also got Mark Zuckerberg in the style of a Grand Theft Auto 5 uh, cover, and this one's really good. I mean, that looks like Zuckerberg. There's no doubt about it. That's probably one of the stronger suits about stable diffusion model is that you can generate those famous people, such as Zuckerberg, We've even got more Zuckerberg here too. Yo, and we've even got Elon Musk as a Grand Theft Auto 5 cover art. It really is able to actually capture Grand Theft Auto 5 quite well. This is another really nice example of some stitched art. Here we've got a Native American shaman. This is some form of digital art and it looks very good, very accurate. It's shocking how good this bot can get with faces. Faces are particularly difficult because we're so good at picking out the fine details. And with faces so far, this one is definitely better than Midjourney. And I'll leave you guys with this generation of a photorealistic face. This is a photo of a red bearded man eating ice cream, wearing a red and blue cape. He looks quite happy. 
And so am I that this technology is coming in the future. I really like to see that open source type of stuff, stuff that we will have in the public. But yeah, I was just showing off this amazing bot and it's actually super competitive with not only Mid Journey, but Dolly too as well. So yeah, everything will be linked down in the description if you want to see some more information on this. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Check out my other videos.